my two children attend public school here. John is in fourth grade and Jessica is in the sixth grade. For the last three years, my family and thousands of other families in South Brunswick have lived with the consequences of Governor Christie's massive cuts to public education in 2010. South Brunswick received a $6.3 million cut in state aid. And as a result, we've all been forced to pay more and get less. Class sizes have gone up, giving my children less opportunity for individualized instruction. Music and art programs for all children were scaled back. Physical education was shortened by 20 to 30 minutes and over 20 clubs for the kids were outright eliminated. As a result of losses to state aid, the South Brunswick School District now must charge fees from families whose children play sports, participate in band, field trips, or even taking advanced placement courses in the hopes of improving their chances at getting into a good college. These ranges, these fees ranged anywhere from $25 to $75, and they quickly add up. Like many families, we have hit the 300 cap pretty quick. Meanwhile, our cash-strapped schools have often relied on parents to make purchases they could not. Governor Christie has restored some funding to South Brunswick over the last years, but we're still 8% short of where we, need, where we were when he first came into office. Then, last week, Governor Christie held out the promise of further relief in his state of the budget address. He said over 370 schools would receive an increase in funding, and we held out hope that we would again be one of them. It turns out we were. But what seemed like the promise of relief now looks more like a bad joke. It turns out that South Brunswick's aid increase this year is this. One dollar, a single dollar. After three years of underfunding by the state, the governor has given us a dollar. And by the way, he told us, don't spend it all in one place. Today, we're going to stack up what we've had to pay in higher fees and property taxes and stack that against Governor Christie's single dollar. Here's my contribution. This would be $300 that we've had to pay out so far this year for my children's activities, field trips, plays, etc. Here's my contribution, Governor Christie. Thank you. So right now, we would like to introduce a couple other speakers who can go into a little bit more detail. And our first one will be Teresa Dempel. Teresa. Hello. My name is Teresa Dempel. Ten years ago, my family and I moved to South Brunswick. We wanted the best school systems for our children. I have two daughters. Katie is in eighth grade and attends Crossroads North Middle School, and Megan is in fifth grade and attends Mom Junction Elementary School. It is unbelievable to me that Governor Christie is claiming that he is increasing funding for South Brunswick this year while offering only one dollar more in aid after underfunding us by millions over the last three years. This one dollar increase still leaves us two million short of where we were before Governor Christie took office in 2010. South Brunswick school funding levels are actually 13 million under the minimum amount required to give our children a quality education as required by the School Funding Reform Act of 2008. Due to the cuts, my family, like so many families here, have paid the maximum annual fee of $300. My daughter Katie plays the flute, my daughter Megan plays the baritone horn. They're in the band, the choir, and the plays. Here we are today to let everyone know that our governor is misleading the South Brunswick residents and the state when he says there's been an increase in funding for our district and many others across the state. The truth is the governor has underfunded New Jersey schools by $5 billion since first taking office. Almost every district in the state has been shortchanged by the governor, and there seems to be no plan to bring New Jersey back into compliance with the school funding formula that is law. 
We need leadership from Trenton. And since Governor Christie seems more interested in touting his $1 aid increase and actually undoing the damage his cuts have done to the public education, we must look to the legislature. In addition to being the mother of two, I am the Director of Empowerment Programs and Finance for New Jersey Citizen Action, the state's largest citizen watchdog organization, as well as the state's largest HUD certified housing counseling agency. Our staff have counseled thousands and thousands of families who are losing their homes because they have lost their jobs or had their hours cut or have taken a pay cut due to the New Jersey's tough economy. These families are not in a position to absorb the additional costs we are now paying or to deal with the cuts in our school programs. In New Jersey, we have a revenue problem. There's not enough money to go around. But this can be alleviated. We need to reinstate the millionaire tax that Christie has repeatedly vetoed, and this would generate $1 billion. We need to close corporate loopholes, which would restore $300 million, and we need to curb wasteful subsidies that will save an additional $2.3 billion. There are means available to meet the needs of our children and fund our school. It's just a matter of priorities. We urge legislators in Trenton to take a stand for our children and offer every state in the district a meaningful increase in aid. Thank you. And now our next speaker will be Marianne Herrera. Hi. My name is Marianne Herrera, and I'm a longtime resident of South Brunswick and a mother of four. Two of my children attend Crossroads Middle School North, and two of my daughters will be at Mama Junction in a year and a half. Uh, I am, too, am paying over $300 in fees, just like Teresa, thanks to the 2010 state aid cuts imposed by Governor Christie. My youngest son plays saxophone in the symphonic band at Crossroads North, which costs $50. Next year, I'll be paying an additional $50, because I'll be doing jazz band on top of the symphonic band. My oldest takes two different clubs, tennis club and flag football, which is an additional $25 for each club. My youngest son will be trying out for the baseball and basketball team next year, which most likely he will make the baseball team, <laughs> and that will be an additional $50 expense. Our middle school cut its junior varsity baseball team, which my youngest son tried out for in seventh grade, and a try for the eighth grade team, which made it near impossible for the seventh graders to make, which makes the competition especially fierce, considering there's 70 kids trying out for 15 spots and only one team. The story of the last three years has been paying more for less, and that's not even taking into account property taxes. My property taxes have gone up over $3,000 in the last three years, and that's a story I've heard again and again from many parents. South Brunswick pays roughly $11.5 million more than its local fair share according to the law. It's paying more because the state has to done its part. It's time to step in and do its part to make sure part to offset our property taxes, we would be getting approximately $25 million. It makes that $1 seem pretty small, doesn't it? Thanks, Marianne. And then last, we have Catherine Oliver. Hi. My name is Catherine Oliver, and I am a parent in South Brunswick. I have two girls. One is a freshman in high school at the South Brunswick High School, and my daughter is in second grade at Brooks Crossing Elementary. With that, I am also the coordinator for the PTO President's Council that meets with Dr. Carbartney once a month and we talk about some of the issues that we have in the town. In February, Governor Christie gave a budget address which touted an aid increase for 370 school districts. That was welcome news, but just a few days later, South Brunswick and 40 other school districts found that the state aid increase the governor referenced in his speech amounted to a single dollar. In his first year in office, Governor Christie made $1.6 billion in cuts to public schools around the state, including $6.3 million cuts for South Brunswick. While some funding has been restored over the last few years, the amount included in the fiscal year 2014 budget is still $2 million lower than it was before Governor Christie took office. In total, funding from South Brunswick is down 8% in fiscal year 2010. That dollar.